Hello. Put my hat on today. <laughs> All right, let's crack on with day nineteen. Uh, so we're doing blue teaming, something fishy going on. Deploy the virtual machine. Yeah, good shout. Let's do that. Uh, be visible in the split screen. No, I don't want that. Don't need an attack box. That one. Do you have? You surely don't have to do split screen. Or is that because I'm not on a VPN here? Connected. Yay. Is that an actual flag that you can get, or is it just cool design? Deploy the virtual machine. Where is it? This one. It will be visible in split screen view once it's ready. So I guess you have to use a deployed machine. Uh, da, 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 da. McSkiddy received reports of multiple phishing attempts from various elves. One of the elves shared the email that was sent to her along with an attachment. Email was forwarded as an EML file along with base64 encoded string in text file. Is Grinch Enterprises up to their shenanigans? Check out oh, so and walkthrough, we don't want that just yet. My game's up stupidly on so let's fix that. That's better. Uh, adversaries use technique used, known as phishing to attempt to infiltrate target org and gain a foothold. The definition of phishing, according to the MITRE ATT&CK framework, adversaries may send phishing messages to gain access to victim systems. All forms of phishing are electronically delivered social engineering. Phishing can be targeted, known as spear phishing, Spear phishing. A specific individual, company, or industry will be targeted by the adversary. More generally, adversaries can conduct non targeted phishing, such as mass malware spam campaigns. Adversaries may send victims emails containing malicious attachments or links, typically to execute malicious code on victim systems. Phishing may also be conducted via third party services like social media platforms. Phishing may also involve social engineering techniques such as posting a trusted source, posing as a trusted source. You've got a reference to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Uh, since the type of attack targets employees of both small and large orgs alike, security awareness training is often enforced to help minimise the chances of a recipient falling victim to the type of attack. Ah, we've got a proper box. Uh, there are several signs to look for in emails without performing extensive analysis to help determine whether an email is potentially a phishing attempt. Some examples are listed below. Do you know the sender? Does the email address match the sender? Does the reply to email match the sender? In the body of the email, does it greet you personally or is it generic? Does the email contain any grammar mistakes such as misspelled words? 
Does the email give you a sense of urgency that you need to act fast, such as a deadline to prevent your account from being disabled? Does the email contain a link or a clickable button that redirects you to a website? Yeah, pretty much every fucking email does this. Uh, does the link match the sender or is it random? Uh, okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, is there an attachment to the email? Now that you're ready to dive in with the attached virtual machine, open the mail application. Cool. Email.eml will automatically open for you. Inspect the file contents of email.eml. Okay. Answer the questions below. When reviewing email source code, you're typically seeing coded strings in Base64. And we've got examples, but we don't need examples because we've seen enough of that throughout this process. Uh, to view source code of email, please reference below example. So just do that. Okay. Uh, below are the commands to assist you with analysing the encoded attachments text file. You can use the Linux command line to read the contents of text files. Cool. Okay, so who's the email sent to? This is kind of like learning a bloody... Right, copy email address. Cool, that was the easiest question ever. Phishing emails use similar domains of their target to increase likelihood the recipient will be tricked into interacting with an email. Who does it say it was from? But really? <laughs> and it's only different because it's got an A instead of a B. Uh, sometimes phishing emails have different reply to addresses. If the email was replied to, what email address did they receive? Fisher at Tempt mailed Stick Grinch. Uh, less sophisticated phishing emails will have typos. What is the misspelled word? God, good luck doing this if you're dyslexic. Uh, we would like to inform you that your TBFC online banking has been temporarily limited because you haven't updated your password according to our new terms of use. You have to reset your password straight, straight off. <laughs> Until now, to be able to use your online banking without limits, use the link below. Da, 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 possibility, yeah, whatever. Uh, email contains a link that will redirect the recipient to a fraudulent website in an effort to collect credentials. What is the link to the harvesting website? So we can't, oh, you can hover over it. Can we copy the link? Yes, we can. Uh, right, uh, view the email source. What is the unusual header? Got SMTP source. What was this one? My Let's use the commands it listed. I've got to get better at doing these, so why not? So you cat the file. Maybe we're not, we're going to cat. Echo what I pasted. And then we're going to. I'll put that into place 64-D. Some nonsense. Actually, let's...
Let's try this one. Oh, sweet grass, just fuck this off. <laughs> Alright, Cyber Share for the win. Let's have friendly interfaces. Let's uh, it we can copy directly into here, it should be alright. Uh, from base. Alright, more nonsense. More nonsense. More nonsense. Doing some like weird relay. Ex Grinch fish. Must be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you received other reports of phishing attempts with other colleagues. What are some other emails? Contained attachments. Open attachment.txt. What is the name of the attachment? Uh, what is the flag in the PDF file? So we must have more. I just closed it. It must have more um more messages. How the hell do you see the other messages you got? Some of the other emails, yeah, where? Like Made it look like Outlook, but it's actually Thunderbird. <laughs> and how do you get other messages? Thanks, is it in him? Oh yeah. So open attachment txt, what is the name of the attachment? Password reset instructions PDF. Uh, what is the flag? That's going to be in the decoded one, I'm assuming. And then this, we're going to need the zip cat and zip cat. Uh, 
height base 64 dash Kind of cheating because I know it's going to be a certain format. So, uh, actually, I guess this is the content. Do like a PDF decode. I'm wondering if you did like convert it to PDF and it will be like in the file, like the text one. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, and save it as a PDF. There we go. You've got to do base 64-D and then pipe it again into file.pdf. We should probably put it here as well. No such file as a of course. Did it actually make that?
Oh, come on, you did this the other day. Oh, it's not a pipe, that's what I'm doing wrong. It's not a pipe, it's a forward arrow. Cool, so now I've got that soon. PDF to slash menu slash to desktop. Open it then. Luckily, the PDF didn't contain any malicious payloads, but don't let your guard down. <laughs> That's right, it doesn't really matter if you're detonating it on a, on a throwaway box. Can you actually find that within... That. Um. Oh, stop dripping on me. TXT. What's the right syntax for that? Okay, let's delete those two things. Let's 
Of course, it's got a sodding space in it. No, don't know how you would do that otherwise. Don't need to answer that one. Let's shut down this thing. 